Oh, look at this. We got some more rain, but we got blue and we got loud 2 view over here at Lowe's. Wonder why we're here. There's a couple reasonings, but you know, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into this video. everyone Derek here today bringing you another episode of redo blue and obviously as you can see we got loud two valve we got blue behind me and we are at Lowe's once again now you know before we hop into this video Andrew what's up what's up what's up man what's up man nothing much man nothing much me either man <laughs> okay good talk and before we head inside we have to introduce you to the gorgeous Georgia there she is <laughs> what are you doing Okay, you're too cute, we gotta go. But anyways guys, it's no surprise of what we're doing today from the thumbnail and title of this video. Georgia, I'll be back, okay, I'll be back. Okay. The title of this video, you can obviously see that we are attempting to install my touchscreen Apple Play radio deck in my car, because you know, Andrew, it's been a lonely ride lately. Yeah. You know? No music, I mean, we do have the exhaust note, but days is like today where it just rained all day. It's kind of it's, it's kind of lonely. So today we're heading in Lowe's. I gotta buy a soldering iron, solder. I mean, last time I was here at Lowe's, you know, only only the best of the best happened. You know, we put garage door sealers on my car. They turned out great, and oh, there's a charger. I see you. Back to Lowe's we go. Need some water? I'll take this whole pallet, please. All right, so first things on the list, I'm gonna have to get a solder. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one and we actually need one for um, electrical solder because we need it to carry electrical connection because we're gonna do it right. We're not gonna do no pinch clips or anything. We're gonna solder it. And it looks like we need some of this too, our butane, because you know, they just have to be all fancy on us and can't get one that like plugs into a wall like a wood carving burner or whatever it is. So I'm not too sure if I'm about to get this one yet. We're gonna go check plumbing because they also said they have them in plumbing. So on another note, we have no choice. We have to take this one. And unfortunately, it's a little more expensive than I really was anticipating. It's like $30 for this stuff, which is kind of ridiculous. You know, we gotta do what we gotta do to get the job done. I cannot stand not having any radio in my car, or GPS or anything. So all in all, let's just hope this all goes well. Let's hope it's not for nothing. But we're gonna go ahead and purchase this head back out to the um, the boat I mean the Mustangs and yeah just catch you guys in a little bit all right so we just got out of Lowe's I got what I needed got my soldering iron my butane and from here I think we're just gonna head to my house and we're honestly just gonna jump right on into this couldn't be more excited enough but good god look at these butts my oh my look at that got blue and red Perfect combo. But anyways, guys, we're gonna head home. I'm not gonna film all driving or anything like that because you know, it is a little dangerous, but we'll pick this right back up in three, two, one. All right, then we are back, finally made it home. And over here on our little patio table, we have the things that we're gonna need. Obviously, we got the Pioneer um, NEX deck, got our soldering kit and our butane to fuel the soldering kit. And I'm 100% positive we have everything we need. As you can see, we have all these wiring harnesses and um, bags of screws and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and take all this out and see exactly what we have. All right, so right here, I have everything laid out. Obviously, we have the head unit. We got one of the main harnesses we're gonna need along with this one. The stock harness from the car is gonna plug into this and that plugs into that. And then that's where you go ahead and connect those two. That's where the soldering is going to come into play. Then we have our bracket, obviously, that mounts in the double din. Little remote, some extra cabling. Let's say we have a USB extension. Not going to really need that. We have a mic. Not going to need that. Don't know what this is for, but keep that aside. Obviously, a soldering kit, and that should be just about it for this job. So what we're going to do before we start this, we're going to go to the Mustang and um, pretty much just look over the harnesses and make sure, you know, we have all the pieces before we start ripping stuff and soldering because if we don't have a single wiring harness that we specifically need, this will not work, obviously. So we're just going to go ahead and take these two over there and plug them up and see if everything matches up. And we are at Best Buy. Let's hope this goes well. Let's hope they have this piece because look, we got a mess here and this needs to be resolved. So hopefully these guys come in clutch with us. So we just parked. We are here. Best Buy. This is our guy right here. We're going to see what's up. All right. So a little update, guys. We just got the wiring harness. I think we need it. I'm going to show you guys really quick. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because if this doesn't work, then I have to buy this huge wiring thing but as you can see we got this one plugged up now and we got this one as well I'm pretty sure these are just the two we're gonna need so we're gonna have to cut and splice and tape into the um the other harness that plugs into the deck down there but we're gonna head home and we're gonna get this project on its way so we have now made it home over here we have everything set out um Andrew is just gonna go through this we checked the wires already everything seems to be checking out and obviously you just you know we're gonna go ahead and solder them and then tape them up we got our tape right here and we got two harnesses these two this was the ones we just bought and from there after you solder it all, it's pretty much just a plug and play. Let's keep our fingers crossed, man. Um, because after this, this is our last shot with this this video for today. So pray for us, guys, and keep your fingers crossed because I really want this to work. But we're gonna jump right down into this, and here we go. All right, so there's two harnesses inside the car. They come from the 99 wiring harness, and these two plug into it, and they've got colored wires on the other ends, as you can see. We went ahead and stripped all these, and then on the this side, this is what was provided by Pioneer. 
for the Pioneer head unit, and you just match up the colors, twist them on, get them all twisty twisty, and then you put solder, solder on, on it, and then we're gonna wrap them up in electrical tape and plug it in, and hopefully be good to go. All right, well, let's be begin. So I got these wires together, and I'm just going to twist them around each other, like so. And what that's gonna do is just hold them together until I can get them a solder on there and some then solder wrap them up. So they're together now. And now pro tip, is instead of putting your the tip of the solder or the tip of the soldering iron onto the solder, what you want to do is put the soldering iron on the bottom of the wire and let the heat transfer through through the wire and then put the soldering iron on top of the wire. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that for all these wires. We're not going to literally sit here and bore you guys with that. So we will be right back as soon as we get this thing all soldered up and taped up. All right, everyone. So we are now back. As you can see, we have all these taped up. And underneath the tape, we got some solder. From here, we're just going to go ahead and plug these in. And we're going to give it a Tesco. And I keep my fingers crossed. Everything works well. All right, so we're heading outside to the garage. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. And we are going to be switching to phone light because obviously it's dark. And I don't really have a stand-up light out there. But we're going to go try this. And if it powers up, it's just installation time. So here we go. Plugs in right there. Yep, plugs in. All right, so we just got the second harness on here. So we got the, our two harnesses that we made here. And then this is the harness for the um, the head unit. Head now, unit, yep. we do have some exposed wires here because we're just doing the test right now to make sure that the head unit turns on and that it, we can actually like listen to music, stuff like that. So now let's moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go. So this guy goes in here. Clicks are good noises sometimes. All right, everyone. So this is the moment of truth. I am my, my stomach. Honestly, I just got a nervous feeling. Um, we're going to turn the key and <sighs> dude, what do you think, man? I think it's going to turn on. All, All right, right, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to turn the key. Three, two, one. All right. Is there a power button? Oh. All right. It's powered on. So far, oh. so good. That means we got two of the wires, right? <laughs> All right. That was that one. Okay. All right. It's um, on. How do you go to radio now? We're going to test the radio. Oh, I hear... I hear... Hold on, bro. That's Hold good. on. Let's that's find. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. All right. I'm 90, 102.1. Yeah. Shout out to my local rocket station. Yo, let's go. Yes, we got it, my man. Andrew got this working. Dude, it sounds good. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. So everything works. We're good to go. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it from the back of the head unit here. We're gonna go back into his garage over here and we're gonna get the uh, the trim set up so we can just slide it in here, bolt it down, and his new head unit will be installed. We'll be good to go. Sweet, all right man, back into the garage. All right, and welcome back to the video, everyone. First off, I do want to apologize that we didn't get this done that day. Obviously, you guys can see it's the next day, and to be honest with you, we really didn't think it was gonna get dark that quick. Not to mention, we did run into, you know, a couple speed bumps, but all in all, the project is finished. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and keep talking about it. I'm just gonna show you guys. Let's go in the car. So finally, we have installed the first touchscreen deck to ever land in this car, and my God, does it look amazing. And not to mention, when we first tested it out, I was honestly mind blown due to the fact that I thought the speakers were going bad on this car. We have two in the door, we have two tweeters on the door, we have two on the sides and then two more on the back. So, you know, I thought maybe this is gonna cost me a little more than I expected to get everything switched out. So, you know, I just went the route to getting the new head unit because I was like, you know, honestly, I don't listen to music that often. So I really don't think it's gonna be necessary to switch out all the speakers, the amps, all that jazz. So, you know, we just switched out the head unit. And I must say with the head unit being an amplifier as well, it's like the speakers are alive. Now, when I had the stock head unit, it sounded nothing like it sounds now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and here we go. So, I mean, check it out, people. We're gonna turn this up a little bit. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that. Calling. Doing this is my calling. No, it's so appalling. My phone all that she calling. I'm like, yeah. What it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. Fall back because I'm coming through with my whole team. They coming too. That's real. Real. Tell me how you feel. I mean, let's be honest, for some stock speakers and a new radio deck, that sounds pretty damn good. So overall, I am ecstatic, I'm super happy. 
but there's one thing I do have to mention. Now with this radio deck, it is indeed Apple Play, but this one in particular does not have wireless Apple Play, meaning it does not connect just Apple Play through Bluetooth. Now you can hook Bluetooth to Bluetooth, obviously, but the Apple Play is completely like controlling your phone from this device. So with that, it actually came with a USB cord that it plugs into the back and I'm gonna run it all the way to here or in my console. I haven't done that yet because you know, I don't really think it's necessary right now. But when I get bored one of these days, I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna test out the Apple Play. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, everyone, um, I'm just gonna give you guys a little quick rundown on the installation. It was actually pretty easy, but you know, we did run into some speed bumps and some speed bumps, meaning the dash was broken. Now where your head unit would screw in, there was one tab that was completely broke off. So, you know, me and Andrew had to improvise for that. The new double didn't definitely helped it out. It held it in so much better than, you know, the old broken one. But you know, overall it's in there. It looks great and it sounds amazing and I'm super excited about it. Now the last thing we need is just my seats and interior is 100% finished. And you have to admit this interior went zero to 100 real quick. To really wrap it up, I might go and get some tint on there. I have some now, but it's nowhere, you know, the shade I need it. But yes, everyone, that's it. All right, my camera just totally died, so I'm now on my phone. As I was saying, I know in the latest Redo Blue episode, I was going to link the radio um, deck, so this time I will because I know I forgot last time, so you guys can go and purchase that. But you have to keep in mind the Apple CarPlay is not wireless on this one. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Redo Blue. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. Make sure you drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you want to say what's up, that's cool too. And today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to JPenwit269. That new edge looks amazing, and I love the color, so make sure you go check him out. And if any of you guys want a chance to win a shout out on the vlogs, make sure you follow. Follow me on Instagram at Derek Man Productions and use hashtag DBP Squad in all your posts. Because as you guys know, every time I film a video such as this one, I go to the hashtag, see who used it, and boom, there you go, shout out. And really quick, I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support because the videos have been doing pretty well lately. Thank you for that. We will see you Saturday. Make sure you drop a like on this video, do your boy a favor. But until next time, we'll see you later.